Hey gang, we're back at Indo-Pacific Sea Farms. This is about the third week into our Nano Lagoon project and we wanted you to have a look at what's happening here. The only marine life we have added to the tank so far is the Nano Start Pack, which are the microorganisms, the bacteria, the plankton, the coralline booster and the protozoans and so forth. And then we've added the grazer pack, which consists of these strombus grazers, some other types of snails, worms, mini stars, and amphipods. And they were the organisms responsible for containing the diatom bloom, which we have documented in previous videos. However, look carefully at what this strombus grazer is doing. He's out on the sand bed or she's out on the sand bed. We can't really tell because we can't really see clearly down there. But it's irrelevant because we want to focus on feeding today, not reproduction. And this grazing snail is out on the sand bed actually cleaning individual grains of calcium carbonate crushed coral. Now, if you use a finer grain of sand, you will not observe this happening. This is one of the reasons why we like to use the coarser grains. They get covered with bacteria, they let a lot of air into the lower levels of the sand bed. Now there's a, there's a pair of them both doing the same thing. This is very exciting. They seem to be going in different directions though. That long thing sticking out in front is the proboscis. That's a sensory organ. See, now look, they're gonna... Oh boy, we may have an encounter here. We may have... If we have to terminate this video prematurely, it's because this is a family channel. However, the main point we'd like to make is that when you have a coarser grain of sand... Oh my goodness. Oh boy. Did somebody say threesome? Don't go there. We're not even going to go there. When you have a coarser grain of sand at the bottom of your nano reef tank, you will see this type of behavior. Grazing snails all over the sand bed, cleaning individual grains and keeping it clean. And this will not occur when you have fine grain sand because the snails cannot locomote. They can't glide over that fine grain. Their foot gets stuck and they're just not adapted to handling that sort of fine substrate. So just as a small point but an, an important one and it helps explain why we choose this coarser grain for the sand bed in our nano lagoon. And by the way these strombus grazers will be mating soon and they will be breeding soon and they will be laying their eggs on the glass and we'll show you that when it occurs but one of the really cool things about these snails is that they do breed in your tank and they will make a lot of little snails and that is a good thing.